In this video, we're going to back up a Jack's wallet, and then we're going to, after we have it backed up, we're going to restore it. Now, to do this, I have two instances of Jax. On the left, you see an instance uh, Windows application version of Jax. And then on the right, we have the Jax Chrome extension. So what we're going to do is back up the Windows version of Jax, and then we're going to restore to the Chrome extension. So we have one Litecoin in this Jax wallet. So what we expect to see when we back this up on the Chrome side is we want to see this one Litecoin show up. So this is just a brand new instance. It, when we open the Chrome extension, they're asking, they're displaying the end user uh, license agreement to us. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll close the Chrome instance for now, and then we'll go ahead and get started backing up the Windows version. So to do that, we need to go up to the hamburger button, click, and we need to select the menu, and then go to tools and then here in tools we have the ability to back up the Jax wallet so we click back up they give us two options they give us the option to just view our backup phrase and then they give us the option to back up now the difference between the two is the backup one the backup selection will allow they'll they'll display it to you and then they'll allow you to type it in and tell you if you've got it correct or not, which is pretty convenient. So we'll do that. Click back up. They give us some details here about how the phrase works and uh, what the backup actually does. So you can read that. Select yes, understand, click continue. And then here we see our backup phrase. So what we want to do is down here in this notepad, we're going to type out our backup phrase, word for word. Uh, every character has to be correct. So I've got our passphrase typed out, and now we're ready to go ahead and copy and paste it, and we can test it for accuracy on the next page. One thing to mention is that now that this passphrase is known, anyone that has this passphrase can download Jax and restore a wallet using the passphrase and have access to the one Litecoin that's available. So if this video goes up before that Litecoin is in, and that Litecoin is still in the account, then it would be up for grabs at that point. But anyhow, let's go to the next page, click continue, and we'll just paste to confirm our 12 word backup phrase, and we see we get a success. Now, what would happen if something was wrong? Say this I was an E. We wouldn't get a success. Put it back, and we have a success. Now, at this point, we know that we've typed, we, we have our correct passphrase. So, in this case, what we could do is just delete Jax altogether. We don't need it anymore, and just back this, uh, put this on a piece of paper, and, and store it offline no one would be able to access our funds. However, that's only if you trust what Jax is saying here, success. To really see this thing in action, we need to test it. Because that's the only way we can really know for sure that if we delete this, the Jax application and all the data, that we can really get our, our wallet restored. So let's do that now in the Chrome extension. So we come up here and we click the Jax button we take a look at the end user license agreement, click accept, and then instead of creating a new wallet, we click pair restore wallet. Click continue, and we are prompted to put in our backup phrase. So we'll copy this one to the clipboard and paste it in. Click next, choose express, that's fine. And we'll choose Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Take me to my wallet. Hang tight. This is a very intensive process. Okay. So it looks like the wallets are loading. We've got our Bitcoin, Ether. Let's check our Litecoin. Initializing wallet.
and here we go it's recognized that we've got 62 us but the litecoin value hasn't come through yet let's um give it some time to sync and look over here at our other wallet the windows application wallet we've got one litecoin the transactions match and let's see if we hit the refresh we can't get this one litecoin to display let's try going from ether back to should go from ether back to litecoin give it a second here okay I waited a couple of minutes here and I tried a couple of troubleshooting techniques to figure out what's going on but I just can't get um, the balance to show correctly but I think what I'll go ahead and do is this is a good example I've seen some complaints with jacks about these types of issues where they can't get the where they can't get the display right and it a lot of times it'll freak people out because they think they've lost their coins but what I'll go ahead and do is just show a couple of techniques that you can try if you run into this situation uh, so the first thing that I would try to do is go to click on the hamburger go back to Litecoin click on the hamburger button and go to settings and then click reset jacks cash it says it'll reload your current backup phrase recompile your balances and transaction histories you will not lose fun any funds okay so let's try that because a lot of times what Jax will do is they'll cache data uh, on your device that way you don't have to that way they don't have to go out to the blockchain and sync up every single time you you um, open the the wallet so see we get reinitializing let's go back to Litecoin initializing wallet let's see if they can get it right this time nope still our litecoin's not showing up so i'm going to show a couple more things then let's go to setting let's go back hit the hamburger button and then let's go to tools and then let's go to display private keys what i want to do now is take a look at all of the litecoin addresses that are associated with our litecoin wallet because what Jax does is they have behind the scenes they have a couple of different addresses uh, for each wallet type they say that it helps with privacy because every time you do a transaction it shifts to another address and then that that balance that you see is just a sum of all the addresses so we can see that by going to this private keys section and clicking display litecoin keys and then we see we have a couple addresses one two three so we have three addresses here and this looks to be the problem that value seems to be incorrect what I want to do to verify that my account is correct is take this address and then I want to go look using a block explorer what's the status of this address so to do that we'll go, let's go to the browser let's type in block cipher block explorer and it's this first one live.blockcipher.com and this is a block blockchain explorer or block explorer that supports multiple different uh, blockchains. You got Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin. So we need to choose Litecoin and put in our address. This is our public address, by the way. Um, but anyways, let's click enter, and we see this is the our address, and we see received one Litecoin, sent zero Litecoin, balance one Litecoin. So if you see the balance uh, on the block explorer is correct, then then you know you're in good shape. There's no reason to worry about your funds. Um, it's just some some display issue with Jax, and I've seen a lot of people complain about this, but hopefully they're going to get it right uh, with upcoming releases. So just keep that in mind if you're using Jax and you run into an issue like this. Make sure to verify your account balance uh, using a block explorer and um, make sure that you can check take a look in the uh, at the private keys and view all of your public addresses and make sure you, the ones that have funds in them you can go to the block explorer and check those out but we did 
we did semi successfully back up our or we backed up our wallet and we were able to restore it we just had a display issue um for the time being please uh subscribe uh like this video uh comment and make suggestions on future videos and support this deep lizard channel we appreciate it thank you